Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is probably one of my favorite telescopes that we sell in the, in, uh, the company. It's the 180 Maksutov uh, Cassegrain Telescope, a 180 millimeter, that's seven inch, matte cast. And what that means is, even though it looks nice and short, it's got a super long focal length. This thing has a 2700 millimeter focal length, and for a seven inch, that's very long, it's F15. Uh, what that gives you is very high magnification, first of all, but also a very small secondary mirror. If you look on the front, this thing has beautiful optics. The secondary mirror is nice and small. On, a, on an F10 Cassegrain or an F5 reflector, those, that secondary is gonna be much fatter. And that lowers the contrast a little bit. So this has about as much contrast as you can possibly squeeze in to a seven inch telescope without actually being a seven inch refractor for tens of thousands of dollars. So a very clean, very high contrast, planetary killer, basically. This is a very good planetary telescope. Uh, rings of Saturn, high contrast, uh, cloud bands on Jupiter. Uh, it looked like you're in orbit around craters on the moon. It's, it's just a beautiful view of the uh, high power solar system objects. It will also do deep sky as well. It's a little high power, so you're gonna have to get a very low magnification eyepiece, 32, 40 millimeters, to get the widest possible field. Uh, but it will also do Orion Nebula, Andromeda Galaxy, seven inches of light does, does suck in enough light to see a lot of the deep sky as well. Uh, for visual, like I said, it's excellent, uh, but also for photography. If you're looking for a planetary imaging telescope with the web style uh, uh, cameras uh, that we sell for uh, solar system imaging, this would be excellent for that. It takes uh, high magnification uh, images, you stack them together, you get a very good resulting image uh, on the CCD chip. And you'd also be surprised, I know I said it's F15, so it sounds like it would be terrible for deep sky photography, but with modern CCD cameras, taking long exposures, auto guiding, so the, the stars stay exactly uh, in the same space, uh, in the same spot on the chip, uh, you can get some very high resolution deep sky images. You have to take a little bit longer exposure because it's F15, but I've seen some beautiful images of the core of the Orion Nebula, uh, small globulars and planetary nebula. It, it does very good for that if you have the patience to do longer exposures. So a very versatile, high power telescope uh, designed for visual and imaging, the Orion 180 MACAS uh, telescope. Thank you very much, clear skies.